Hi, I'm Nathan Pettis with Emerson Process Management. Today, I'd like to speak to you about how electronic marshalling, part of our new Ion Demand solution, can reduce the complexity and eliminate work with traditional wired points. In today's world, when you bring a field device signal into your control room, you have to run the field wiring to a marshalling cabinet. On one side of the marshalling cabinet is a terminal strip. On the other side is a DCS wiring, and in between is a mess of cross wires. With electronic marshalling, all of this work can go away. Let's take a look at how. Here I have an electronic marshalling cabinet. Functionally, this cabinet serves the exact same purpose as a traditional wired marshalling cabinet. You land your field wires here on these terminal strips, but this is where the things become different. First, each one of these signals can be any type of signal, and you can characterize it very late using what we call a charm. This is a charm. It stands for a characterization module. It's simply an ADD converter which can convert any type of signal to its, from its analog to digital equivalent simply by dropping it in. If this happens to be a DI signal, I drop in a DI charm and I have a DI signal. Further, with this electronic marshalling cabinet, we can marshal every single point individually to any controller in your system electronically. So you're not tied to any one single controller. Let's take a look at this solution. At the top of the cabinet, we have the Charm I.O. cards shown redundant. We also have the Charm I.O. card carrier, which is fully redundant, both communications, either copper, cat5, or fiber, and fully redundant power, 24 volts, which supplies all the card, charm, and field. If you need to inject other power, you can do that here in these external nodes. Each charm base plate snaps onto the DIN rail with no screws, click, 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 and you have a series of term strips and the charms themselves. Each individual channel does have a keying mechanism so that once you take the charm out of the base, if you put a different type of charm in, it won't go back unless you reset the base. Out of the factory, these bases come neutral so that you can land any type of signal, whether it's a DI, DO, AI, or AO, in any order, in any spot, and then simply select the correct type of charm to characterize that signal to become the correct type. Further, electronic marshalling can greatly reduce the complexity associated with change orders, from splitting the controller, moving a point, or even changing the type of a point. Let's take a quick example. Say that you have a skid that shows up that you thought was going to have level transmitters, but instead there are level switches. So we need to go from an AI to a DI. Let's see how we do that with electronic marshalling. First, I would take my charm that I need to replace, remove it, and I need to reset the base by pressing on this button, remove the base, reset the keys to neutral, reset the base, take my AI charm, replace it with a DI charm, and I've just changed that signal from AI to DI without moving a single wire. That's what electronic marshalling can help you do. But electronic marshalling is more than just control room cabinets. It can actually be remoted to field junction boxes. We have that shown right here. In this solution, with charms and electronic marshalling put in the field, you do away with all marshalling cabinets. The footprint can go down to a small 3x3 three three room with a single controller cabinet. Electronic marshalling greatly reduces the work associated with bringing traditional wired points into your facility. That's why electronic marshalling is an essential pillar of our ion demand solution. Together with wired, bus, wireless I.O., electronic marshalling gives you maximum flexibility bringing I.O. into your facility. Ion demand, what you want, where you want, when you want. For more information, contact your local sales office. Thank you very much.